This starting forwards game knows no limits. Martin stuffed it. That was another trip to the top of Mount Caleb. He's really developing into a really unique winning basketball player. Never forgetting his unique path to success. It's like a movie. I can't ask for a better career, even though there was ups and downs, but I still got to do it with my brother. And celebrating his victories with those he loves most. How you grew up, you might not have had a house. In our particular situation, it was just something about getting a house for her. Paying it forward and shaping the youth. Just get it, man. Good luck, bro. The fact that not only that we're able to run a camp, but kids want to show up, lets you know that you have an impact. All while continuing to keep his eye on the prize. Caleb from the corner. Kaboom! With a capital K. I love playing here. I get goosebumps. Talk about it. Payne meets rejection at the rim. He got with the Miami organization, with the city of Miami, once in a basketball player. Inside the Heat, Caleb Martin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. On today's episode, we sit down with one of the Heat's up-and-coming young starters, Caleb Martin. Caleb has quite the journey, joining the Heat in 2021 and making a name for himself along the way. His energetic style of play and willingness to do whatever it takes to help the team win is why he embodies Heat culture. Caleb is from a small town in North Carolina, and he remembers and cherishes his roots even now in his new home in Miami. Caleb, how about this set? I mean, this is like the, the nice little fusion of uh, like a little North Carolina rustic, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then some Miami. What is it that you like that Miami has that you can maintain a little North Carolina while you're here? Yeah, I just like the fact that it's still like, they got a little country to it. I know we like kind of in the city, but yeah. depending on where you're going, you got little little lakes, little ponds. I don't get around them too much out here because I know they got gators. I don't want to get caught up in that, but uh, I grew up fishing. That's like one of my favorite things to do, favorite hobby. So the fact that you can do that out here too, it kind of gives me a good back at home feeling. I imagine we probably grew up fishing the same way. Mm -hmm. That's with your feet on the land. Yeah, it's crazy because like I feel like if you're around the ocean, uh -huh. they say the deep sea fishing is the real fishing. Mm -hmm. And then if you're from like the country, and you, like you said, your feet's on land, that's what I call real fishing. I don't know if I'm trying to catch anything that's gonna pull me in. <laughs> I don't wanna catch anything as big as me, honestly, so that's why I, I, I stay with a pond. This place is easy to fall in love with, though. Miami is magnificent. What do you love most about this place? I just think the vibe here, the energy here, the people here, just real, real high energy, vibrant people. They just always having a good time no matter what, Monday through Sunday. Let's get to some basketball now. Last year was my first year calling games. Uh, my favorite call of the year was me talking about your personal business, and I apologize. <laughs> Martin has it. He's up. He throws it down. He rocks the house. Caleb Martin, the contract says two-way. I say no way. He's playing for a job. He's playing for a contract. He's playing to prove that he belongs, and, you know, he's just continuing to get better. The organization has officially converted the contract of Caleb Martin from a two-way deal to a standard NBA contract. The thing that was awesome about your approach is taking a two-way to get to your payday. It also brings in a moniker, Mount Caleb. What a jam for Caleb Martin. Oh, the view from the top of Mount Caleb is breathtaking. Hero missed it. Martin stuffed it. That was another trip to the top of Mount Caleb. Talk to me about the nickname and if you dig <laughs> it, how you apply it. Nah. Will there be merch? <laughs> For real. <laughs> I like the nickname. I like it. I like the fact that like uh, I get to use my athleticism here and that is appreciated. Caleb's athleticism is on full display when he reaches the baseline. Hero working. Martin stuffing. Martin so athletic and electrifying. There's something about the baseline that I just get my feet right. If I get a couple steps inside the three-point line, I'm going to try to take off. I used to do the same thing through the middle in high school. Me and my brother, we used to go to AU tournaments and not really... We didn't really care about how many points we scored going there. We just would count at the end of the weekend how many bodies we had. There it is. So we just, we'd have a competition like that. So I think I'm still trying to do that. Like I definitely got more bodies than him in the league right now.
Miami earning the top seed in the East, beginning their playoff run against the ace seeded Hawks. Caleb Martin! Nobody was there but Caleb Martin from the heavens. Caleb is just a great competitor. He inspires everybody with his crazy efforts and his competitiveness. He's just a, he's our kind of guy. When you look back to your first playoff run, what did you draw from it most? I think the biggest thing for me it showed was just the, the next level of intensity mentally. Here comes Martin looking for more as he slices through the defense. The game is obviously intense. Each possession matters. Everything's kind of more broken down and more detailed. But just the fact that, like, mentally, I remember a lot, like, because even some of those games I wouldn't play a lot, and I was, like, mentally exhausted by the end of the game because I'm, like, sitting there watching and what I'd be doing, and you got to be ready if you do get thrown in. I might go get thrown in for, like, two minutes to go do some three minutes and then come back out. Everybody has that mantra, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. And, you know, 1 through 15 throughout this whole season has stayed ready. Turnover to Oladipo. Up to the throwdown, King! That is Caleb Martin. If he's going to get up, he will crush that rock. It's a different game within the same team every night, which was wild to me. I had no, um, I had no idea that's what it was going to look like. It was almost like even though we were playing the same teams, it felt like a different team every every game because the schemes would change and adjustments were made and it was it was crazy but it was awesome welcome back to inside the heat after a successful first season and a playoff run with the Miami Heat, Caleb Martin had a decision to make in the summer of 2022. It would be his first time hitting the free agency market. While ultimately he knew where he wanted to play, Caleb was able to have a full circle moment as just one year prior he found himself not knowing what his future would hold. The Heat brought back Caleb Martin this week, and at this point, he may even be the team's starting power forward. So we get to the offseason, and it's time for free agency. Walk us through your approach, what you wanted to accomplish, and then obviously, in the end, deciding to stay right here. I think first and foremost, uh, I'd, wanted to come, I'd wanted to come back no matter what. I could see myself here. I got better here. I felt appreciated here. I was also keeping an open mind. You know, I mean, this is my first, it was my first free agency when I got to go through it with my brother. And so, you know, I'm taking calls from a decent amount of teams. Um, it made me take a step back, and I'm like, dang, like, this is crazy. Like, just like a year ago, I, nobody wanted me. That was probably my best day of the summer was seeing him get um, that contract. He earned it. I mean, he was one of those people that got knocked down and got back up. Just to see the progression, you know, one year ago going into his first camp with us and a lot of uncertainty, and then now a year later, the confidence that he's playing with and obviously the, the stability that he's now uh, earned in his career. Uh, super happy for him, and it's just another, you know, success story of somebody who's who's grinded and, and found their way. He's always been the underdog. He's used to it, and he's going to stay the underdog in his mind. He's going to always work. He's going to always compete. He's going to always do what you ask him to do. Money's never going to change him. The role he has is never going to change him. Just to see the success he's had and to see him this summer to get what he got, it was just incredible. Just to see the story, how it all came to be, and to be a part of it was even more special. It was just a, it was a, it was a great feeling. You know what I mean? It's always a great feeling when you feel wanted, and especially like a, a guy like me who's been clawing, trying to, you know, get people and teams' attention so ever since I got in the league was pretty gratifying. It kind of made me hone in and focus even more while I'm like, all right, I, like, I want every team to want me. You know what I mean? I want every single team, whenever, next time it's free agency, I want every team to want me. Take us deeper into doing this with your brother so you're able to realign you all's dual activity uh, once again. For both of you to have the success necessary to have extended contracts at the same time meant what to you and the family? It's like a movie. Right. You know what I mean? It's been a movie since I've been in college. You know, we, really high school too. We played every single team together, AAU, every team together. High school, college. Goes to his twin brother and he hits. That's Caleb Martin with the basket. Cody to the left side, Caleb. Caleb puts it in drive from the wing. Slashes to the rim, fouled and count it. And to start the pro my first two years. I can't ask for a better um, career. Two Martins on this year's team. Caleb undrafted. 
Cody drafted in the second round. Even though it was ups and downs, but I still got to do it with my brother. Not a lot of people get the opportunity ever, you know what I mean? So I just, I couldn't ask for a better, for a better journey. Let's keep the storybook going. Now that you guys are comfortable and beyond, now an opportunity to thank mom. Yeah. And the story on the street is you all want to buy her a house. Yeah. Why specifically that for you all? We hear that story a lot, but it's still beautiful every single time. What's the connective piece for you all with that for her? Just being able to do anything for your family, period. But, you know, something about a house, like, you know, with them to get to, cho get to choose, and especially depending on how you, how you grew up, and you might not have had a house. In our particular situation, it was just something about Getting, getting a house for her, like, and let her choose. She's never had the opportunity to own her own house. She never got to, to go through Realtor.com or Zillow or, you know what I mean, look at, you know what I mean? And I never th would have thought, like, you know, a long time ago that I'd be able to do something like that. So it's, it's, it's just as important to me, too. It's probably, shoot, might be more important, you know what I mean, and a better feeling for me and Cody than it is her. Amen. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Caleb Martin's success in Miami continues to build as he was named a starter for the team in the 2022-23 season. Caleb proved himself as a valuable asset to the team and someone that would take on all the challenges in front of him, no matter the position or the task ahead. Caleb is ready for it all. Caleb Martin, the new starter, replacing E.J. Tucker. Caleb Martin. Ramp it on everybody. Wow. Circling back to where I was a year ago, just trying to prove I can play a couple minutes here and there, and then I jumped to a starting spot. Especially recently, it's been clicking a lot more. Caleb Martin took it away from Paul George. Martin right wing just left Covington. Put it up, right hand off the glass. That was magically delicious. He's really developing into a really unique winning basketball player. He does a myriad of things that don't show up in the box score. He's figuring it out. He's getting to his spots. He's, he's doing it on the defensive end. You know, he's taking those challenges on both ends. I take pride in taking challenges. So you got all these people saying he's not a four. Realistically, like, everybody knows I'm not a four, I'm a wing. If you say I can't play the four, I'm gonna go play the four. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I don't care if I have to change my playing style or shoot four less time, five less time. It doesn't really matter to me. As long as we win in, that's all I care about. Caleb from deep. Caleb Martin has five triples. His title season high in threes in this quarter alone. You recently hit 1,000 points scored. Let us note before Cody did. Yeah, I did. By the way, <laughs> uh, what does that milestone mean to you? I had no idea I'd be able to, you know, do things like that. You know, mm -hmm. a thousand might not mean a lot to other people who's got 20,000 sure. or whatever. You can't and get there without getting one. Can't, can't, exactly. Come you on. can't get there without being here. So right. it just kind of put things in perspective about how far I've came and how much further I got to go. Way off. Martin on the flip uh. back in. Caleb Martin to the rescue. Yeah, I could have easily been in China or something like that. You know what I mean? So the fact that I'm getting to do this and especially be somewhere like Miami, I'm grateful. Early in the season in Portland, you had a glorious night. Last night with the Caleb Martin Show, tallying 16 points, eight rebounds, four steals. A steal by Martin. Another steal for Caleb Martin. What a game he is playing. Martin rolls it in. Here's Martin down the other end, hammered it down. He has been an absolute game changer. I had the pleasure of asking Jimmy just about the night and he decided to turn the entire conversation to one place. And Caleb, we trust, man. I'm gonna make some fake money and put that on there, put his face on there. As long as Caleb is playing well, we got a great chance of winning. Jimmy, I appreciate the time. Of course, man. Caleb for president. What did it mean to have that type of praise from Jimmy? Hey, he's a clown. Like, <laughs> Jimmy's <laughs> Obviously, that's always a great feeling when you have your teammates in general, but especially like the 
franchise players, they take recognition on how you're affecting the team and gives you more confidence. It's always nice to, you know, to, feel, to feel believed in and just makes you feel good as a player and just lets you know that you're doing the right thing. So just try to keep stacking games and stacking good days like that and just keep building off that. Caleb stacked another phenomenal winning game. For the first time in his career, Caleb scored at least 20 points in three straight games. Caleb from the corner, kaboom, with a capital K. He's a great shooter, but he, he has a speed and quickness X factor. Martin, he's into the paint, spins off Kisper, left him in his sneakers. Make sure the man still has his draw zone. Spo calls Caleb the X factor, and that's why. I think he surprised many people this season even uh, with his athleticism, whether it's a block or a steal or a dunk. He will go make a highlight play. Caleb, man, that's my dog, man, for real. He plays so hard. And while Caleb's teammates enjoy watching him play, they are also resources he taps into for advice. OG's always there. Yeah. Like, OG's always there. Kyle, a lot, too. He helps me a lot. We talk all the time. And it's different for me because the first couple years, I'm like, I don't want to say nothing. I just want to listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Taking that next step is to be able to be interactive. He challenges everyone uh, to be a better version of themselves out there on the court, even in practices on the days off, like he's very vocal. The one thing that he cares about is winning. And if that's the first thing that you put on your list, like that's your first check mark, then you belong here. Blocked from behind by Caleb Martin. Defensive play of the game. They understand that I'm trying to do things to win, so I, I think they respect that and respect my opinion on certain things too. And I, I just love how our interactions are a two-way street. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. While Caleb Barton has become a special person on the court, he is also a special person off of it. Caleb makes it a priority to immerse himself in the community, giving back in as many ways as he can. He understands the importance of shaping the youth, and that is exactly why he has been involved in various basketball camps, including one back in his college town. Over the summer, you and your brother, you guys held yet another camp, and this one was in Reno. Tell us about the camp and, and what it's like to host it. It means a lot to me because we never got to, especially as kids growing up, we never really got to go to, to camps like that, let alone be around NBA players. The fact that not only that we're able to run a camp, but kids want to show up, lets you know that you have an impact. We just love to come back and try to get back to the community, how the community gave back to us when we were playing here, and we just always like to show love to the city. I think it's a pretty cool experience, not only for the kids, but for me and my brother and, and our staff and our friends and stuff too. Along with giving back in your college town, you've been involved here in Miami. What do you like about being able to be around the community and impacting lives? Yeah, I think that's everything. You know what I mean? The, the younger generation uh, of kids who are playing, that's all they want. Yes, sir. Uh, my dog, bro. Appreciate you, bro. One of the best posts to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And that's always stuck with me since I've gotten here. Uh, it's kind of like a saying my mom used to tell me, too. It's pretty cool to go ahead and get your hands on some of the kids and maybe shape some of their minds. But maybe this will be a pivotal time for them. Just get it, man. Good luck, bro. You don't really know that you might have that type of impact on those kids until you might run into those kids a couple years later. They come back and they somewhere at a college plan. You don't really think about that until it comes back around full circle. Let's talk about Heat Nation. This is it's different. And you got folks that'll fill this place to the roof, and they're fine throwing on a, a T-shirt. They'll, they'll throw on the one six and represent. Uh, and then you'll have some of the biggest stars sitting courtside all the same time. I want to hear your experience because I think it's it's unlike any place else. Yeah, it really is. It's like a party. Like as soon as we get jumping, I, I love playing here. You just know every game's gonna be turned. Every game's gonna be just energy from the gate. There's just something about it, man. Like especially like. You make a big play, you get a big stop, you get a big dunk. Martin gobbles it up, throws it down, and the foul! That's one of the hype spells I get goosebumps talk about it because I just love doing that every time. With a full year in the organization now, and coming in and, and having to establish what you needed to grow in your game to get to this point, what do you still want to add to your repertoire? 
Mm. I'm still working on my defense. I still want to be one of those guys you go to late in the game. Beal against Martin. Almost turned it over. Three seconds left in the game. Fires a three. Missed it. Beautiful defense without fouling. Wow. He does so many things for our team. Regardless of what defensive scheme we're in, he's so critical. Hey, meets rejection at the rim. Martin pressuring ball. Oh, he took it away from him. Offensively, I want to just become a knockdown shooter. Martin sidesteps, fires a three, right corner. Slash! Whenever I'm in that mindset offensively and I believe every shot is going to go in, I just know I'm going to be able to take that next the next jump and I know it's close like I felt I felt like this before going through my career and I just know like I'm right there the rocket line I'm right there man I'm telling you give us some goals for this season what, what boxes are you trying to check as uh, the season progresses obviously everybody's goal I want to win a championship come on you know what I mean that's the that's the ultimate goal I would love to be in a conversation for most improved. I would love to be a conversation on an all defensive team. I want to be in the in the top percentile in the league of winning numbers. He's finding his way. He's you know tapped into the niche of who he is as a player. I think he's going to take another step in his career this year, and, and I'm, I'm excited for what he has to offer. He does everything well, um, and he's just so energetic and competes at a high level that he he got with the Miami Heat, with the Miami organization, with the city of Miami um, once in a basketball player. I just think overall, I just want to prove that I'm a starter, that I can start, and I'm going to continue to get better, and I just appreciate the team for, you know what I mean, for, for giving me this time to, get to figure it out because I feel like game by game it's getting easier, but it's hard for me to think about anything else other than winning a championship. We were so close last year. We'll focus on getting to the finals first, and we'll worry about the championship. Caleb Martin has not shied away from putting in the work that's necessary to be successful, playing for an organization that believes in him and being surrounded by teammates who do the same only furthers that success. The city of Miami is lucky to have him in their community and playing for them night in and night out. The sky is the limit for Caleb and we are all fortunate to witness his journey one dunk, steal and block at a time. Thank you so much for joining us and watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson.